Uh, And as uh, our viewers just heard, the big divide between the Republicans and the Democrats on this newest uh, stimulus package is over that extra unemployment benefit. Democrats want it to be a flat rate, uh, like the additional $600 a week provision uh, that expires this week. Republicans say it should be a proportion of wages. I want to bring in the former acting Secretary of Labor under President Obama, Seth Harris, who is joining us. Uh, Mr. Secretary, thanks so much for joining us. So what do you think? Who blinks first? in this latest little battle? Uh, I think that uh, we've seen really a shocking level of failed leadership, both from President Trump and uh, Senate Majority Leader McConnell on this coronavirus package. It's not a surprise to anyone who's been paying any attention that those extra unemployment benefits are going to expire this week. It's not a surprise that businesses are running out of Paycheck Protection Program funds. It's not a surprise to anyone that there are large numbers of families on the verge of personal bankruptcy. And yet they've shown no leadership. They waited until the last minute. The Democrats in the House passed their bill back in May. And Senator McConnell decided to wait until last week to really start negotiating with his own conference about what was going to be in this bill. I think ultimately Senator McConnell is going to have to agree with the Democrats and President Trump is going to have to go along to keep the increased unemployment benefits at $600. Senator McConnell needs 60 votes in order to be able to pass anything in the Senate. He needs Democrats. He doesn't even have all the Republicans right now. There are at least three Republican senators who said, no, 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 I'm not spending any more money. So he's got big trouble, and he waited to the last minute because he was hoping to jam something through that Democrats wouldn't accept. That's not going to work. It's never worked before. Part of the provisions, uh, Mr. Secretary, in the stimulus package proposal is an extension uh, of what's called the federal eviction moratorium. Uh, How important is it that we approach the beginning of the month when rent is typically due and a lot of people aren't going to be able to pay their rent and they fear they're going to be evicted and put out on the street? Wolf, it's absolutely critical. We can't have families with children being evicted from their homes and have their unemployment benefits slashed uh, by Republicans in the Senate and the White House. Uh, We can't have people being foreclosed on. Uh, There are millions of American families that are teetering on the edge of personal bankruptcy right now. That's the situation that President Trump has put us in, is that families are on the verge of economic collapse. If we take money out of their pockets and take away their homes, It's going to look like the Great Depression all over again. Yeah, this is so, so sad. Let me play something uh, that the White House economic advisor, Lawrence, Larry Kudlow, uh, said to my colleague Jake Tapper earlier today. Listen to this. Most economists, Wall Street, elsewhere, are suggesting we are in a self-sustaining recovery. And I still think the V-shaped recovery is in place. What do you think? Are you agree with Kudlow? I think Larry Kudlow continues his unbroken streak of false statements about the American economy. Um, What we're seeing from the actual data, rather than listening to people on television, is that jobs are sinking again. We're seeing the number of people collecting unemployment benefits or claiming unemployment benefits going up. We are seeing the percentage of Americans from preliminary census data, the percentage of Americans who are employed going down. We are seeing Americans who are on the verge of perhaps losing their homes, not being able to get back to work. We're seeing reclosings in California, Florida, Texas, uh, Arizona, and other states. Um, I I don't know what world Larry Kudlow lives in. Maybe it's a special television world that I'm not uh, don't have access to. But it's certainly not the reality of the lives of American working people right now. That's the failure of leadership that we're seeing out of the Trump White House. That's one of the reasons why in 100 days, Wolf, when the American people vote, they're going to solve this pandemic by changing leadership in Washington. The uh, the economist Austin Goolsbee, who helped your former boss, President Obama, uh, during the Great Recession uh, back in 2008, 2009, uh, he told CNN Business that this pandemic, this coronavirus pandemic, is still worsening. And then he added uh, this, whoever is coming in there in January 2021 might be facing worse conditions than in 2009, as hard as that is to believe. You agree with Austin Goolsbee? Yeah, I think Austin's got it exactly right. The number of jobs that we have lost are was greater in this recession than in the 2009 Great Recession. Um, we have a higher unemployment rate now. Um, we have more businesses 
facing uh, bankruptcy, particularly small businesses, particularly small businesses, by the way, in the African-American community. Um, I think that that's one of the reasons why the American people are going to be looking for new leadership in 100 days, because we need an aggressive jobs plan in order to bring the American economy back and to rebuild the American middle class. And from this White House, we're seeing very clearly they can't even get a stimulus package organized with their own party. They clearly can't put forward an economic agenda that's going to move the country out of recession into growth and into prosperity again. All right, Seth Harris, uh, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, Wolf.